Welcome back to my channel, Eliza Fat Creative. I am going to be trying to do tutorials on Saturdays, so stay tuned for those. I've been getting a lot of requests on my TikTok account on how to create this love design. So I'm going to do a step-by-step -step tutorial in Illustrator. But before I get started, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and let's get started. So as you can see here, I have my color palette down below along with the color code of each color so you can use them in your designs if you want. I'm going to start fresh with a fresh canvas, so I'm going to just delete all of this and start with a blank canvas. I'm then going to create a rectangle box for the background using that light pink and I'm just going to align it to the artboard and I'm going to type out my text using the font called Claridin. It's from adobefonts.com. And then I'm going to make two lines of text just like this, as you saw in the design. And I'm going to make it bigger and kind of align the text how I want it to be. You can do it however you want. I'm then going to delete the O because as you saw, I used a heart in its place. I've gotten a lot of comments saying that it looks like a B, but I like how it looks. Let me know what you think in the comments. So I'm going to create the heart using two rectangles. So I'm going to use make a long rectangle and then turn it. And then I'm going to duplicate it and turn it the other way. Select both shapes. Use the shape builder tool and create that heart shape and delete the bottom parts and then going to use the direct select tool and round off the corners to create the heart i'm going to rotate the heart and put it in place where the o was and i'm going to make it bigger and create the layout that i want you can create whatever layout you want and then once i've created my layout i'm going to select that heart and duplicate it on top of itself so if you look in the layers panel here, I've created two hearts and then that top layer heart I'm going to make smaller so I can create that punched out heart look like you saw in my original design. Once I've created that layout, I'm going to select both of the hearts, so the small and the bigger heart. Go up to the Pathfinder tool and select Exclude. And then I'm going to group everything and then I'm going to duplicate the whole design so I can have it later for that white outline you saw in the original design. And then I'm going to color all of my letters. So the V and the heart will be that dark pink and the L and the E will be the blue. While the design is selected, I'm gonna go up to effect and then 3D materials and then extrude and bevel. And then the 3D box will pop up and you can add the depth to it. You can add the bevel like I did in my original design like I have here. And then you can also play around with the lighting and the material. So I'm going to play with the settings and then I will show you the result after I am done. So this is my layout that I'm going to go with. Remember how I duplicated my design in the beginning? I'm going to drag that over and add a white stroke and up the weight in the stroke panel to about this. And then while it's selected, I'm going to go up to object and then expand appearance. And now it's its own shape. While that shape is still selected, I'm going to go up to Effect, 3D and Materials, 3D Classic, and Rotate. And then I'm not going to play with the settings. I'm going to leave it like this and hit OK. And then I'm just going to move that around to how I want it to look. Once I'm done, this is the final design. If you've made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. I will put all my socials down in the description below along with the font I use, and I will see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.